Hi, welcome to a quick demo of iSatana operating within NX Meta. Um, what we're going to do here is talk you through a bit about iSatana and show you how iSatana's AI engine can operate within NX uh, Meta and specifically enable the advanced search functionality. Um, but first I'll take you through a little bit of iSatana. Just for context, this is a live site that we have access to. It's a small shopping mall in Western Australia. We've got about 60 cameras in there, but we've chosen six just for the, um, the NX um, demo. iSatana specifically focuses on leveraging AI to manage large-scale networks. We've been around and doing um, nothing but AI security event detection across large surveillance networks for the last 14 years. This is a brand new product. Um, 14 years ago in machine learning is like 140 years ago. We flattened the product, started again and delivered on the same promise of self-learning AI. Um, we, we specifically, our largest customer has 8,000 cameras. They like iSatana because there's no configuring, there's no report, there's no drawing perimeters, there's no masking, there's no rules. The way the system works is it uses machine learning to do these things, but it, the, the, when you switch iSatana on, each camera has its own machine learning model across a number of algorithms. It understands in the first 24 hours what normal looks like and then it starts to report on unusual things so we so that our operators can focus on the interesting events. And um, this is a, a status screen, just gives you an idea about the last seven days or you can change it to the last 14 days or whatever. But this tells you the, the number of hours of footage that the AI has processed number of cameras that are live and um, how many are online and where the kind of high level camera activity is. Um, events are the, the video events that iSatana has determined are interesting or unusual. Incidents are when a user tags these events and says this is something that we would like to report or escalate. Here's the live wall. This is the, the main screen for real time event detection in iSatana. Um, the, it's a 3x3 three three grid just now. Normally behind these live walls is between 200 and 500 cameras. Um, in this case there's only 6 cameras so the chance of something happening is pretty slim. But on the ticker here it gives you an idea about the last 10 events. So this one for example is there's a person in an unusual location at an unusual time of day. Um, one of the things that's unique to iSatana is this, this green box. On the live wall, the green box um, tells you where the event's about to happen. There's a two second latency or two second delay while the AI determines if something is interesting or not. And in that time, by the time the, the event hits the live wall, we put the green box where the event's about to be so that the users can, um, can focus. Um, this is particularly useful when you're in charge of monitoring a few hundred cameras and, and you know, visual fatigue. The, the, the live wall can be configured to show particular cameras, particular sites, particular algorithms. Here's an insight into the, to the algorithms that we've got. Um, I'll just quickly choose, for example, trip and fall. Um, this is an idea of the last trip and fall that was probably about a week ago um, the, the, the system will pick up if someone falls over it will show it on the live wall um, and then it will show it on the highlights which I'll show you in a second but I'll come to the algorithms um, in a minute so see, this is the most powerful screen for our users who have large scale networks and, are, and, are, and have a, a real time requirement to... this is the highlights uh, this, I'll give you an idea, maybe do it today. I'll clear these and see if there's been any fire, no fire. 
any smoke, no smoke. We do have a fire and smoke detector. It's, it's, it's AI, so we wouldn't recommend throwing out your smoke, your actual smoke detectors, but it, it does work pretty well when, when there are these events. Let me see if I can push this back a bit and get some loitering events last seven days. So, um, the way that loitering works is it, it builds a model of the dwell time in the scene. So if you have a, a coffee shop or something where people generally sit there for two hours, it's not going to trigger all the time. It'll trigger when someone's been there for three hours, and it's the same here. So these are, these are people in the scene that the AI has determined is, you know, has, have been there for an unusually long amount of time. This is useful for you know, a, a, a bunch of nefarious actions like stalking, Checking a place out, you know, this is this is one of the more powerful algorithms that we have. Uh, let me just clear this. Show you unusual count. Unusual count works the way I suppose by now you would expect. It's great for crowds, for protests, for traffic jams. Most of these algorithms work for people and cars, or the unusual algorithms do. So here, the system builds an idea of um, of you know how many people are normally in the scene and triggers when there is and um, there are more unusual direction um, the, the, the AI builds a, a map of pockets of direction so you know cars driving down the street it understands that there's consistency in left and right here I think what we see here yeah this is a, a travelator or an escalator where you go up the left, you come down the right, and when kids run against that flow, it brings it up and says, hey, there's an unusual, unusual direction. Similarly with cars, like what we're seeing here is a bunch of cars that are just reversing. Now, here's one. So, so this is a, a genuine someone driving on the wrong side of the road. In this case, it's at three in the morning. It's the security team. They're checking on the... Um, checking on the, the shop so all is well. The unusual location is an algorithm that's useful in a lot of our um, large shopping centres. They have fountains where they want to know if kids get close to the edge and rather than drawing the perimeter around all the fountains in the mall they just switch Isotana on and it, it builds an automatic perimeter around it and when, when kids or people move close to the edge of the fountains it brings it up for the security team. This is what's happening just now. Um, this gentleman is in a part of the scene where there normally isn't anyone and um, it's, it's triggering it saying hey there's someone in, in an unusual location. We often pick up fights um, not because we have a specific fight detector but because the fight um, typically people end up pushing others into unusual parts of the scene someone you know often falls over but and often people run away as well so um, I'm just showing you the unusual speed unusual speed um, believe it or not is one of our more useful algorithms for shoplifters um, in this case you can see a couple of young guys running out they've got their hands full of whatever they've stolen this was just the other day and and I think um, if we we hold on um, we're about to see the the response time on the security team um, so this guy comes out a few seconds behind and you know in this case he took a wrong turn um, but this is a, an idea about the types of events that we find with unusual speed Unusual time of day, this works as you would expect. You know, like if there's someone in the scene at three in the morning when there isn't normally anyone in the scene, then the AI will find it. I think that's probably what's happening somewhere around here. So this is 11 o'clock at night. Um, it's saying it's unusual for there to be a car here. These guys actually do have problems with the locals dumping the rubbish in the bins, so for the security team it's good for them to, to get a real-time idea when someone um, someone turns up. The, the highlights, you can choose your date range, you can look at the last hour today, the last 24 hours, or look at the last seven days. You can also show 
the the events that have been tagged as as a, as an incident. So in this case, I just showed you the the trip and fall shoplifters. This was an interesting one. Again, this is just the other night. I think uh, this one. This is, that was someone in at four in the morning. This was a bunch of kids that came in, and um, I'll just fast forward it. So they they came in. They were checking the doors, trying to get in, and then, um, you know, had a look around, and at the end of it, decided just to steal a, steal a fire extinguisher. So, I mean, we, we don't have a steal a fire extinguisher algorithm, but, you know, the algorithms around the side are, are pretty capable in finding these unusual or, or at times nefarious events. We have some sharing functionality here, and we've got some chat GPT integration at the moment. In the highlights also, what you can do is you can press the share button and that copies a link to this particular highlights configuration. So you can send that to customers and, and, and the management. Um, and you can also click on the chat GPT link, um, sorry, prompt, and that generates a prompt so that you can come around here, paste that into chat GPT, and the, the chat GPT will write a, a formatted report for you that you can send in an email or, or send through to customers. Um, in R&D, a lot of our customers are dark sites, so sending things to chat GPT or open AI is not, it's, it's, it, it breaks the rules there. So actually in R&D land, we've got some multimodal large language models where we can do this locally. So I'm excited about getting that in front of, um, of our customers. Then here we've got incidents. Um, incidents are basically the workflow management of the events. So here you can, again, write another ChatGPT prompt or you can download it, import it to your event management system. You can download the events. This incident screen gives you an idea about how to use the, the, the to, to, to use the workflow. Um, you can change the metrics to per day, per hour, you can, you know, here you change these events, so you could, for example, find, you know, the trip and fall if you wanted, where are the trip and fall events, click here, and the system takes you straight to the trip and fall. Um, this is pretty powerful for getting an idea about where the hotspots are and, you know, where you probably need to assign resources. And um, we, we also, out of the box, Isatana gives you people and car counting. Um, again, you can do this per day, per, per hour. The, the, it's not your classic line tripping people and counting. Like we, we, we uniquely identify people and count them as they go around. Um, there will be duplicates between the cameras, but that's something we're working on just now, again, in R&D. Um, so you can change this to cars or vehicles and get an idea about what the ebb and flow of the site looks like. Finally, I'll show you the, the heat maps. This is a, an idea about how the AI sees the scene, where people typically go in the scene. Um, like for example, here, this, is, this can show you, let me just choose maybe the last seven days on activity. This gives you an idea that most people, you know, stay around here. But we've got this slider that, that gives you an idea about where people normally go on the scene. You can also change this to dwell time, so you get an idea about where people spend their time. And you can also look at this for vehicles, bikes, if you, if you want. So this is, a, this is quite a powerful tool for understanding the, the ebb and flow of your, of your installation. Let me come out of Isatana now and take into... NX meta objects here on the like you're seeing here this will probably trigger as a unusual count let me just quickly see yeah so here um, oh, it's unusual location but here you can see that the AI has picked up that group of people and it's showing it in the live world and but I'll go back here, the, what you can see here is the object detection that Isatana picks up. Um, it, it, you should be noted that there's, there's no smart cameras involved here. This is, these, are, these are old RTSP cameras. All of the AI sits on the um, Isatana server and it integrates nicely 
into NX Meta. So here it's it's you can see in in real time what the AI is picking up and feeding into um, NX. So if I go here and open up the, um, the objects, you can see this list of metadata on the right getting populated by Isatana's AI. And what this does is it creates a very powerful advanced search capability. So you can come in here and for example, if there was like a missing child, you would click here and the, the, the NX meta takes you straight to the camera and that scene so that you can go and, and for example, find that person. We have switched on color detection for vehicles at the moment. And um, so you can see here the vehicles, let's say you were looking for a red car. You know, the, if you wanted, for example, to look here, you click here and NX Meta, the search will take you to the camera in that particular time really quickly, actually. And um, one of the things that our, our engineers are, are loving working with NX Meta, the, it's, the, it's, it's obviously the best platform on the, on the, on the market, um, but the, the, the APIs and the integration our, our team are, are loving working, for, working with. Um, also, in case it's not obvious, the, the, the AI, Isotana's AI deduplicates these cars and people, and we've got a, an internal tracker that, that monitors um, the, the objects between, so you're, not, you're, not, um, you're only seeing each of these vehicles once in the, um, in the, tra in the advanced search. So hopefully this gives you an idea about what Isotan has, how it works, how it integrates with NX Meta. And um, I look forward to hearing from you, hearing any questions you have, and you know, hopefully at some point in the future um, we, can, we can work together. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Bye.